Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about a circulatory system which is useful for the freshers who are trying for the medical coding jobs not for the CPC candidates. So let's start with the what is circulatory system. Circulatory system is also called as the cardiovascular system and sometimes it is also called as the blood vascular system. It consists of heart which is muscular system device and closed system of vessels called arteries, veins and capillaries. The main function of cardiovascular system is getting oxygen, nutrients to enter body and removing waste. Let's start with the structure of heart. So here can you, you, you can see it is enclosed within the inferior mediastinum. The heart is located in the mediastinum, the medial cavity of thorax and flanked on each side of the lungs. Uh, and the size of the heart is our fist size. And the heart is divided by a septum into two halves. The halves are in turn divided into the four chambers. The upper two chambers of the heart are called atria or auricles and the lower two chambers are called ventricles. Valves allows the blood to flow in the one direction between the chambers of the heart. The heart has four chambers, two atria, receiving chambers and two ventricles, filling chambers. The heart has three layers, pericardium outer layer of fibrous tissue, myocardium middle layer of thick muscle, endocardium inner layer of the epithelial cells. Next internal view of the heart. The right atrium and right ventricle is separated by the tricuspid walls and the left atrium and left ventricle is separated by the bicuspid or mitral walls and these also called as the auriculoventricular septum. circulation of a blood and the circulation of blood is divided into two systemic circulation and a pulmonary circulation so we will discuss about it here you can see the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava superior vena cava carries the blood from the upper limbs head and neck the inferior vena cava carries the lower part of the body these two vena cava supplies blood to the right atrium see from the oxygenated blood enters into the right atrium through the superior and inferior vena cava from right atrium to right ventricle through tricuspid valves and from the right ventricle the blood enters into the lungs through the pulmonary arteries from the lungs here in the lungs, it unloads the CO2 and loads the oxygen. From there, it lungs to it blood received oxygenated blood. Oxygenated blood enters into the left atrium through the pulmonary veins. From the left atrium it walls, blood enters from left atrium to the left ventricle through bicuspid valves. From from the left ventricle, the oxygenated blood enters into the aorta through the aortic seminular walls. From the aorta, oxygenated blood enters into the whole body. This is the circulation process. This is pulmonary circulation and this right sorry red arrows systemic circulation here you can observe the chart clearly you can get my point deoxygenated blood enters into the right atrium 
right atrium from the body parts through the superior vena cava from right atrium to the blood enters into the right ventricle through the tricuspid valves tricuspid valves from there the blood enters into the lungs through the pulmonary tract the pulmonary tract consists of the right and left pulmonary arteries from the lungs oxygenated blood enters into the left atrium through the four pulmonary veins from the left atrium the blood enters into the left ventricle through bicuspid valves from the left ventricle the blood oxygenated blood enters into the aorta from there the blood will enters into the body parts where the arteries capillaries V. Here I mentioned the 11 points go through it. Blood enters the right atrium from superior and inferior vena cava. Blood in the right atrium flows through the right auriculoventricular valves into the right ventricle. Auriculoventricular valves means tricuspid valves. Contraction of the right ventricle forces the pulmonary valves open. Blood flows through the pulmonary valves into the pulmonary tract. Blood is distributed by the right and left pulmonary arteries to the lungs where it unloads the carbon dioxide and loads the oxygen. Blood returns from the lungs via the pulmonary veins to the left atrium. Blood in the left atrium flows through the left auriculoventricular valves. This is bicuspid valves into the left ventricle. Contraction of the left ventricle forces aortic valves open. Blood flows through the aortic valves into the ascending aorta. Blood in aorta is distributed to every organ in the body where it unloads the oxygen and loads the CO2. Blood returns to the heart via vena cava. This is the process of the blood circulation. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Please comment below for what you are looking and also comment for what those topics you are looking thanks for watching